Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to demonstrate on how to integrate single sign-on with Salesforce using Azure. So first, let me go ahead and close out of my camera again so you guys can see my entire screen. And let's head over to, okay, so first you can see I'm in Azure. You wanna get head over to Enterprise Applications, select New Application, and then the search for Salesforce. And then you just click on it and click on create. Now let's give it about 10 to 10, 10 to 20 seconds for it to populate. Sometimes it takes longer, it depends on how the system is doing. There we go, a little bit more, there we go. All right, so let's first assign it to users and groups. In this case, since I have the trial version, I'm not allowed to assign it to groups. I can only do it to individual users. So let's just select all of them. Not too many, anyways. All right, click on select. And then for the role, I'm just going to uh, put them as standard users. And then click on select and assign. All right, so now we'll finish assigning this application to users. Now let's click on single sign on. Select Security Assertion Markup Language, SAML. And then let's configure the basic SAML configuration. Click on Edit. Click on Add Identifier. Add Reply URL. And we're going to essentially put in the same exact URL for all three of these. Let's head over to Salesforce. Click on Set. You should be in the Settings section. Type in My Domain. And then let's copy this right here next to current my domain URL. And then type in HTTPS, semicolon, forward slash, forward slash, and paste it. Copy the entire thing and paste it on the next ones. All right, once you have completed doing all of these, click on save. You should receive a message in the top right hand corner saying that it's been saved. There you go. Green check mark, exit out of it, and then no, I'll test later. All right, so now the SAML certificates, click on, oh yeah, so first let me go ahead and remove the ones that I've downloaded previously to avoid any confusions. Trash, there we go. So let's, so click on download next to metadata XML, and same thing for certificate raw. All right, once it's completed, head back to Salesforce and let's duplicate this page. On the new page, type in single sign on settings. Click on edit and make sure that SAML has been enabled. It's normally unchecked, just make sure you check on it and then click on save. Then click on new for metadata file. Click on choose file and select the XML file that we just downloaded previously. Click on, click on open. Create. All right, let's change the name to something more recognizable. Let's put on um, Azure SSO. Same thing over here. Azure SSO. And then for the identity provider certificate, select the one that we downloaded previously as well. Salesforce.sir. Click on open. Make sure SHA256 has been selected. Down below here, select HTTP, HTTP post. And same thing down here. And then as you can see, he already like po like populated the provider login URL. So all we need to do is uh, insert the logout URL. Head back to A Azure and then select it from here. Just copy it and then just paste it. And everything looks good to go. Now let's go ahead and click on save. All right, now we have one more thing to do. Head over to, back to the other tab that we're in, and the My Domain tab, and then scroll down, click on Edit down here in Authentication Configuration, and make sure that you select Azure SSO, then click on Save. Oh, take a little bit, and there we go. Now it's been selected. Now let's test it out. Let's click on test, test sign in. 
and one of my users is oh let's log out first it worked too it worked too perfectly all right so let's try it again test sign in there we go log in with azure sso makes you select the user in this case let's use tony stark and we are in now let's try on a different uh, browser here we are in salesforce a new session let's pretend we are tony stark one of the employees that we assigned like permissions to salesforce click on login with azure sso okay a few seconds for it to do its thing there you go and then it makes you like log into your your microsoft account and click on no and it redirects you to Salesforce. And that is it. Today we were able to learn on how to configure Salesforce with SSO using Azure. And that will be all for the tutorial. If you have if you guys have any questions or any difficulties performing any of these steps, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will try my very best to answer to each one of you guys. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for new videos.